Well, this is the first trial that's comparing two active therapies. All of our therapies have been FDA approved on the basis of comparisons with either interferon or placebo, which of course is not what we give to patients. So this trial, although it doesn't answer every question, starts to uh, be the building blocks of saying that one drug is, is better than another active drug, and it might inform how we sequence these drugs uh, when, we're, when we're giving them to patients. The, the presentation after mine was about quality of life uh, with these patients, which showed, again, that there was an advantage to axitinib in this uh, trial in, in a composite endpoint of time to deterioration, which was either progression or a decrease in quality of life or death. So the two-month progression-free survival advantage was not just a, a radiographic advantage, if you will. It was accompanied by something that matters to patients, i.e. their quality of life. So I think that really you know, puts the package together nicely to say that this is, we're actually benefiting patients with this drug in this setting. Well, the drug's not yet FDA approved, so it remains investigational. But um, if, this drug is accept if this trial is accepted by the FDA, then you'd expect approval towards the end of this calendar year or so, um, and then uh, hopefully integrate it into practice from there. This drug has been a long time in development, has been showing a lot of promise along the way. Uh, I think of this trial really as the beginning uh, of the drug's development and not the end. Again, those frontline trials I think will be very important. I think many of us believe this more potent class of VEGF inhibiting agents will actually uh, be more clinically beneficial to patients, and I think someday will be a, a new standard of care in this disease.